recent developments in india's economy such as regulatory reforms and infrastructure investments are creating a conducive environment for the growth of vibrant economic zones like the gift city the government's focus on surprise and eye opener to us that we are going to interact with the the various parts of the businesses in india i think the reforms structural reforms in the financial sector reforms which is 2047 and what we are seeing is two very important data i think india will need a net capital inflow of 11 to 18 trillion funds and if you see that the aircraft you will go to dublin to purchase and probably take the aircraft on lease if you wanted an nr proud indian you will see and walk to the some of those infrastructure first international financial services center notified from a foreign exchange laws of india as outside india so the moment you as set up a company in gift as your wholly owned subsidiary actually it becomes a non resident under foreign exchange laws of india now this is a big change and a big important milestone for a financial center to operate in india without this i can tell you uh, you know without assistance that the financial center would never have taken off that if you just uh, has become the toast of the town i think in terms of uh, uh, becoming uh, a strong economic power whose future is known i think it is most of the countries in the world developed countries in the world the investors across the world now believe that the future lies after china in india i think so there is there is no two views about that similarly i think uh, the india is also risen in stature in, in in its in its political and diplomatic uh, I mean, capabilities so overall i think both in terms of economy as well as in terms of political capabilities political and economic and diplomatic uh, presence in the world india has risen to such a, such a very